What's going on guys, I'm with the Moose, and today we have two new Ultimate Legends along with Golden Tickets. We'll break those down in just a bit, but let's get to the Ultimate Legends first. We have Gene Upshaw and Ronnie Lott. We're going to take a look at Gene Upshaw's first, because he is, you know, the more, you know, less exciting player, I guess you could say. You got four collectibles here, you know, three players and one, uh, you know, nickname. We'll see if any of these are up right now. Nickname is not. Uh, we'll see if any of the players are up. If you pull one of these, you are very, very lucky. They're going to be going for a ton to begin the day. And, uh, you know, even throughout the week, they'll stay pretty high. As you can see, this one, 82 overall, going for almost 700,000 coins. That's crazy. If you're trying to complete this set, definitely wait a little bit. This one going for around 400. That's still very, very high uh, just for one of these items. This item right here will be found in a solo challenge. So, as you guys can see, it's going to be really cheap. Don't buy it here, though. Just do the solo challenge if you want to complete the set um, and just throw it in the set. It should be very, very simple. Then we have the Ronnie Law right here. Very nice item as well. We got three, uh, you know, player items and a nickname Ronnie right there. Let's see if that's up. It is up for 1.5 million. Usually these are the most rare cards in these in, in these uh, sets. So this should be an interesting uh, card to see if it goes down or up from 1.5 million. It looks like it's the first one pulled on Xbox One. Looks like there's a couple Ronnie Lots. 91 overall uh, version going for a million coins. That is insane right now. This set. Oh my goodness, 740k for another variant, and let's see if there's one left. If there is, then you could theoretically complete this set. It would be around 4 million coins or so. That is insane that you'd have to spend that many coins just to complete this uh, Ronnie Lot. He is very, very good, but he's definitely not worth 3.5 million coins. Do not get me wrong. Um, but I guess you could complete it. You know, right now it's, there's 700k, 700k, and then a million or so for each of those. So kind of interesting if you wanted to complete them maybe go for it but that is a lot to do now golden tickets are in the game if you go over to the promo tab right here the golden ticket set it said were you one of the lucky few to find the golden ticket by adding your golden ticket to this set you are agreeing to allow ea to contact you via your origin email account to retrieve your exclusive reward now if you guys don't know what golden tickets are you know you didn't play mutt 13 or mutt 25 Golden tickets are essentially where you can create your own Madden Ultimate Team player. You have to base it off of um, a current player right now. So let's say, you know, for me, I would do probably a Cowboys player. I'd either do like Des Bryant, Tony Romo, something like that. Um, you know, I would use Tony Romo's best card and, you know, boost a ton of his stats. Now, I, I think they have a limit on what you can boost. Um, you know, maybe you can only boost speed on quarterbacks by five, something like that. I'm kind of just being random with it. But, um, you know, there is, you know, a limit on how much you can boost them. You can't just make them have every stat, you know, that's a 100 or a 99. Um, but all the golden tickets are extremely good in there. Um, you know, the best players in the entire game. And then um, I think there's five on each console. So in theory, there will be 20 golden tickets overall. Um, now, if people don't redeem them, you know, if they pull them in a pack and then they don't actually put them into the set or whatever, then EA, um, I, I know last year they didn't actually, you know, re-release the golden tickets for everyone so <clears throat> who knows what they'll do um, we'll probably get around 15 to 20 golden tickets in packs uh, at some point so what ends up happening is let's say I pulled one and I made a Tony Romo the Tony Romo would come out on like a Sunday or something like that and EA would put around you know a hundred in uh, in the game on each console you like a limited edition type uh, type deal and I, I thought it was really fun last year it's it's the most fun time of the year in ultimate team to me um, pulling for golden tickets and then, you know, inevitably not going to get one. <laughs> um, but then pulling for, um, you know, the actual golden ticket cards that people made is even more fun too. Because you get to see, you know, if you can get one. I did not get one last year, so hopefully I can do it uh, this year. I'm definitely going to be going, you know, full throttle to try and get one. But let's take a look at the new Ultimate Legends on the auction house. There are actually no regular Ultimate Legends from this week's release up yet, but there is two 24 hour hero. Um, or 24 hour Ronnie Lots up right now. The boss edition, it is insanely good. We'll take a look at him compared to Cam Chancellor, who is definitely a fantastic strong safety, and he gets destroyed. Wow. Oh my god. Um, this Ronnie Lot has 99 zone coverage. That's insane for a safety. Um, 100 hit power, which is obviously a little lower than Cam, but still extremely good. Four faster. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Four better acceleration. 14 better play recognition. That's insane. Uh, you know, five better tackle, eleven better man coverage. Ronnie Lott could almost be a, uh, a corner if he needed him to. Eighty-one man cover, ninety-nine pursuit. This card is insane. I want to see what his catching is. It's probably absurd as well. Eighty-four catching. Oh my god, <laughs> that is just nuts. A very, very good card right here. Very awesome to see. If you if you were able to pull him, I mean, you are, you know, you are one of the lucky son of a gun. That is an insane pull right there. Best of luck to you guys if you are pulling for him. He's in the game for 24 hours. 
Um, should come out of the game around Sunday, around, you know, 11 a.m. or so. But we got a 15 Pro Pack bundle to rip through, see if we can pull a golden ticket, see if we can pull one of those items for the Ronnie Lot or um, the Gene Upshot. That would be nice to see. We're going to rip through them right now, though. Pro Pack number one. Haven't done a 15 Pro Bundle in a while. Got a Matt Elam as our gold card. Can we clutch a golden ticket? Not quite. Uh, if you guys are pulling for golden tickets, though, I would recommend Pro Packs are probably the best way to go. Anthony Sherman's our gold there. But I'd say Pro Packs are the best way to go because they take a spot of, um, you know, a regular bronze card, so like a stadium uh, playbook um, or a jersey or a, or a coach. They'd take a spot of that. So there's four chances, I would say, for a golden ticket in each Pro Pack. Obviously, it's very, very low. There's only five golden tickets on every single console. So definitely don't, you know, go into it expecting to pull one. Even if you're going to pull a ton of packs, it is very, very unlikely you're going to pull a golden ticket. Um, but you just go into it and have some fun. Got an Andrew Luck there. That's not a bad pull whatsoever. Probably hold on to him until the QB uh, positional collection should go for a little bit. Other than him, though, wow, we have not gotten anything from these packs. We're getting destroyed. DJ Williams, maybe we'll go for a little bit. 70 overall. High overall silvers go for a little bit, usually. Chase Kaufman there. And a Rashad Johnson. This is a terrible pro bag bundle so far. Not what we needed at all. Need to make some coins. Only got 100k. Desmond Bishop, what are you doing, buddy? I want a Ronnie Lott. I have not pulled a single Ultimate Legend pull yet this year. Or Ultimate Team pull, whatever you want to call them. So... Definitely not been a good bundle either here. Scott Chandler, oh my goodness. All right, how many packs was that? Got to see, it was eight pro packs right there, and we didn't get a single good pull. Maybe Andrew Luck is a good pull. He might be going for like 3K, but overall still not very good. Rob Ninkovich, not very good right there. Haven't even gotten close to a, an, an elite, let alone you know a golden ticket or an ultimate legend pull. But can we do it? Right here, an elite right there. Bonus veteran pack, I'll take it. Hakeem Nix, that is actually my first uh, one of these like veteran packs, pro packs, whatever, re redeem things. So we'll redeem this in the set right now, why not do that, and we'll get a pro pack, or a veteran pack out of that, I think. Uh, we'll go back and actually, um, we'll open up the rest of the pro packs and then open the veteran pack. Uh, you know, nice to see that, get a free veteran pack, I'm not too upset about it, but I would like a better pull than that, Joseph Fourier, man, getting killed. That is one set that I'm willing to take a look at, though, is the tight end positional set. Not sure who it's going to be. I think it could be Jason Witten. Might be Martellus Bennett. I know there's a few other names out there that I'll probably, um, you know, miss on. But should be a very good player nonetheless. And, uh, you know, I do have a bunch of tight ends. So right now I'm kind of, you know, waiting on it and seeing if I might be able to get uh, that tight end positional set done for cheap. Obviously, they are, they are very tough uh, sets to complete, though. Our gold card is going to be Justin Blackman. Oh, my goodness. These packs could not be much worse. Jay Gruden, Brad Sorensen Jr., Hemingway, where is the golden ticket? Jeff Schwartz, golden ticket? No, oh my god. Terrible packs right now. Only one elite, and it was a bonus veteran pack. That doesn't even really count in my mind. <laughs> Definitely got to switch it up here. Can we clutch an elite in our last pro pack? No. George Selby might still be going for a little bit. Hopefully he is. Be able to sell him for a good amount. But other than that, our pro pack bundle was absolute garbage. Unless we can pull something out of this veteran pack. If we can, then this bundle was worth it. Veteran pack, one time shot. What are we going to get? Got a Chris Johnson as a gold and a Mike Neal. Got a gold badge, which is nice. Got an Andy Lee as well. He should be going for a little bit. Actually, that was a very good pull. Kind of want to check what he's going for, but I will after the video. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. And let me know if you're pulling for golden tickets or the new Ultimate Team Legends. If you are, um, let me know if you pulled anything in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.